If I was to simplify why the rainforests of Sabah are so important to the world, it is the most biodiverse of all the rainforests that we have, the three regions of Africa, South America, and of course, Southeast Asia. And of all the rainforest types in the world, the Diptrocarp forest, which is the dominant rainforest of Borneo, is the most endangered. It is the smallest of all the three regions. And it is where we have the capacity to destroy more than anywhere else of all the three regions. We are sitting on 3.9 million hectares of rainforest out of a land area of about 7.4 million. But when you convert it in terms of per hectare income, it is so, so low. As compared to oil palm, for example, which can give you a multiple of 50 times more. So if the rainforests are going to disappear in large quantities here in Sabah, it's not because of political forces, it's not because of encroachments or illegal logging or things like that. It's simply because it simply is too low in value. How do you raise the value of rainforest? How have we been trying to do it here? We've gone for a mix. We have conservation in that particular area. We have natural forest management where reduced impact logging is employed. And at the same time, in order to generate income flow, we have set aside areas for industrial tree plantations. So far, there has been no depletion or reduction in the size of forests set aside for conservation or management of parks. And the unique situation in Sabah is whenever you have to take out rainforest for whatever reason, you must replace it with equal or better forest, if not bigger. So that has allowed for balance. We are in some ways in a desperate situation. Desperate in the sense that if we don't come up with something which is viable, which is acceptable to society, the pressure on the rainforest and the lands that we have set aside for reserves will be increasing and we are going to lose a lot of it. We are open to ideas and that can only happen if you have a political situation that allows you to engage with the world. That's why we need to have new friends, we need to talk to old friends and see how we can address this. Does the world care or does the world know that the rainforests are for everybody's benefit. Do they care that if we retain species here, we protect species there? What's the benefit of making sure that the Sumatran rhino in Danum Valley remains as a species, it survives, it does not go extinct? So in the end, it's a moral issue. You retain rainforests because you don't want to destroy natural resources that have been endowed by God for mankind to enjoy, but to manage properly. If the rainforests are gone, or species are gone, then it is a failure for everybody. We can't let that happen. The situation is serious here in Sabah. We are looking at the positive side of issues, things, progress. But that can turn around overnight. And we must continue with our efforts, we must multiply the good things that are being put on the ground. And for that, you need resources, money, people, the policy side we can address. We need help. And we hope we are worthy partners. Let's move forward. Let's increase the value of rainforest. And if any type of rainforest needs help more than anywhere else, it is here in Southeast Asia. And the center of biodiversity is Borneo, where we are.